Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another monthly revenue video. With the month of June coming to an end, we have two new additions to the Gacha Gaming Revenue Chart. Then that includes Brown Dust 2 and Tucked OP Symphony. Definitely two very exciting games to look forward to and considering that these two games just came out uh, at the end of the June, the revenue is not going to be super accurate so I would suggest you guys to wait till July to have a much more fair, accurate gauge of their revenues representation. So let's check out every single thing that we know. But before that, this video is sponsored by Sakura Ko and Tokyo Treat. Yo! So if you guys are not aware, Tokyo Treat sends me a box one from Tokyo Treat and one from Sakurako. Now Tokyo Treat is basically a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box and you will get out to 20 of the latest, exclusive, limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks. Alright, you can see right here in this box, plenty of things that I've never seen before. Depending on which country you are from, lots of these things are extremely hard to get. Now Tokyo Treat theme for this particular month is going to be Okinawa Seaside Shaking. Now with that, there's plenty of summer exclusive snacks, including the Okinawa Potato Jinsuko, Chilled Hiyashi Ramen, and Special Kit Kat Cookies and Cream. Now, Sakura Ko is a monthly authentic Japanese snack subscription box. If you're looking for something more traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, this is the box to go for. Now, this month's theme for Sakura Ko is Heritage of Nikko, which includes Thousand Samurai Procession Manju, Hino Hikari Senbei, Waka Ayu Marshmallow, Sesame Enko, Donuts, Salt and Pepper Yuba, Chigiri Kusamochi Patchwork Furoshiki, which is a cloth, Kuzukiri, which is a summer delicacy, Skyberry Waffle Cookie. Now, if you guys are interested to get this either for yourself, for a loved ones, for a friend, for a family member, use code GITAROCK to receive $5 off for your first Sakura Ko box or Tokyo Treat box through my link in the description below. With that being said, let's jump into the video. Oh yeah, Sensor Tower Monthly Revenue Report for June 2023. Okay, so uh, it's always good to have this comparison. So first up, we have Honkai Star Rail. The king still at the top from May to June. Slight dip, slight dip from 81 million to 54 million. All right, makes sense. All right, because the, the honeymoon phase is like sort of like diminished. Uh, players are, you know, slowly moving away a little bit. But I think it's pretty good still. All right, it's still number one. All right, it doesn't matter if the revenue goes down a little bit, it's still number one. That's a lot. I have a feeling when Kafka comes, that is going to be changing. That's going to be different. And looking at the number two, Genshin Impact right now, 34 million. Went down slightly, 4 million. Genshin Impact actually went down a little bit. Actually, it's pretty uh, a pretty good one. Like Genshin is still maintaining somewhat, right? Like four million, like it's so negligible considering that their revenue is thirty million compared to Hangar Star Rail, which went down like that's like thirty million, which is like way way more. Okay, Nikkei also went down, so Nikkei is collectively a global server, so that makes a lot of sense. From thirty two to twenty three, that's nine minus nine million. That's a lot of minus. Hopefully, uh, once Nikkei will have a better run of a Pilgrim banner or something, that's going to push it up a little bit. But regardless, whether you like it or not, it's still number three. It's literally still number three right now in the top charts. FGO, JP server, Japan. Japan server. All right, so FGO, fake grand order, 30 million to 21 million. I can't believe how much money this game is making considering that this is probably the oldest game of the list right here all right like whether you like it or not it's still top five haven't had much improvements graphics is a little bit dated at this point it's 2023 still still earning 20 million are still the top five most earned gacha this month all right next to uma musume which is a jp exclusive title right now from 26 to 21 million went down a little bit okay that is crazy so this top five uh, behemoth right here, Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, Nikkei, Fate Grand Order, Uma Musume, these are all earning in the top charts. More than 10, all right, more than 20 million actually. And then the next one, which is in this case, a major dip all the way to the Fate Grand Order global server. This one, damn, from 1.7 million in May and in June is earning 8 million. 8 million US dollars. That is insane. That is insane. Uh, something must have happened. What happened in the global server? Is there a specific 
exclusive banner is the anniversary going on Morgan plus Melusin release okay Morgan a lolly dragon banner okay that's cool that's cool I didn't know that that was able to push it to like times four times five revenue that is like that's a good push that is a, a lot of revenue jump right there crazy 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 stuff so that push FGO to still be one of the top gachas ever crazy all right project Sikai right here you can see from 9 million went down slightly for a JP exclusive server that is pretty good all right 8 million summoners war this is global server you can see right here from 10 went down a little bit to 8 and then we have heaven burns red so this is a specific one for JP server 11 million went down to 7 Arknight's JP server from 10 went down to 5 blue archive JP server so this is um I believe blue archive don't really have anything specific uh, in the month of May correct me if I'm wrong but I don't think there's any like limited characters whatsoever right so it went down a little bit from 10 million to 5 million exactly the same as Arknight's JP um, pretty interesting right there they are focusing on shutting down the government branch true true oh crap the mouse is not working okay blue archive uh, now memento mori global server from 8 million down to 5 million okay so that's pretty interesting scroll down a little bit azure lane is currently at 3 million us dollars all right so azure lane currently at 3 million same applies wait this is a jp server azure lane okay that's pretty interesting okay so apparently they are still maintaining that's uh, always very interesting to see that it was able to maintain the revenue so epic 7 any epic 7 fans in the chat or right, epic 7 from 4 to 3 million all right pretty good uh went down a little bit but i think 3 million is still Put it in the top 20 still all right so this is the azure lane global server from 2.6 increase slightly to 2.7 and then we have Arknights Global from 4 going down to 2.6 million. All right, that's pretty interesting. All right, next up we have Brown Dust 2 that just came out about one week ago. All right, Brown Dust 2 just came out and already earning 2 million US dollars. That is pr pretty insane. That is pretty insane. Uh, I would say that's a win, all right, considering that this is not like a full month revenue for them uh will be interesting to see how are they going to push towards in july yeah they, they literally they were released at the end of june right they only have like one week max one week max aether gazer from 1.4 to 1.8 million all right pretty interesting i like the aether gazer is going up a little bit uh 400 000, uh revenue earned right considering that uh, there's a little bit of extra stuff right there blue archive this global server from 1.8 went down a little bit still maintaining uh, i wouldn't look at this as as that big of a of a loss but princess connect jp server 2 million all right go down to 1.3 okay slight dip right there but not not to be worried i think it's just there's nothing happening right there for the princess connect so outer plane is winning outer plane times three is revenue from 400,000 this time it finally has a month that you know could properly gauge because in the previous month it was only released it, it was released like end of end of May yeah so 1.2 million for the month of June uh, Limbus went up as well from 600k to 1.1 million so outer plane is literally I think it's doing pretty good right it's like somewhat in the Aether Gazer uh, Blue Archive and Princess Connect zone I would say this is going to be pretty good. Uh, Tower of Fantasy, all right, 1.4 million. Uh, went down slightly, a slight dip, 1.1 million. Uh, to be fair, there's nothing much going on in Tower of Fantasy. Uh, I think recently, now there is a new version, right, that just came out. So let's see if it's going to climb this month. All right, we'll see if there's going to be any increase whatsoever. That's going to be for Tower of Fantasy specifically. Uh, Project Sekai went up a little bit, 700 to 900,000. Ever so. Ever soul is going through a slow, slow dip from 700 to 600k, still not doing that bad. All right, so Alchemy Stars from 300,000 to 500,000. All right, so this is for the JP server of Alchemy Stars. Path to Nowhere is maintaining, all right, is maintaining that 500,000 range. Very, very good. P G are 700,000 previous month now it went down slightly to 500k but there's nothing going on so let's see PGR at 500k all right maintaining the decent revenue counter site 
maintaining. 400. I'm surprised that counter side is maintaining. It's not going down. That's crazy that it's able to maintain. There's nothing going on right now in counter side, to be honest, right? There's no collab. There's nothing that pushes it. But it was still able to maintain. All right, that's uh, kind of interesting that lots of players are still playing it. Or, or at least spending money in it. Uh, very, very interesting. PGR counter side and Guardian Tails, neck in neck. All right, so still maintaining that range. 500 to 400k. Dark OP Symphony, this for JP server specifically. Uh, 305,000, not bad actually, considering that it only has few days that it launched. PGR JP server went down a little bit more. Neural Cloud, JP server, global server, neck in neck. JP server went up in revenue, global server went down by 10k. Alright, Archland, Korea, not looking good. Not looking good, Archland, 140k. Alright. Alchemy Stars Global do well, it went up a little bit. 60k to 90k. Girls Frontline, so this is going to be global server, 170,000 to 90,000. Girls Frontline for JP server, 90,000 to 90,000 maintaining. Hegan went down, okay, that's not going to look good if it continues to go down uh, all the way to 80,000 right now. Next to Artery Gear, next to Artery Gear at 70,000. Dark OP Symphony for global server. 45,000. I mean, to be fair, this game came out like 3 or 4 days ago. So it only has that long to be able to calculate the revenue. And the last one is Grimlight at 10,000. Wow. Alright, let's check out some other revenues that's not here. We know this one, Honkai Impacted. 400k plus 400k, 800,000. Okay, Crunchyroll, 900k. So 1.8 million. 900k times 2. Street Fighter Duel is doing decent. This slide is usually not included, but I think this game is always pretty good. Uh, you can see 800,000 combined with 900,000, so that's like 1.7 million. Not the worst. Red Shadow Legends! Wow! 8 million on Android. iOS? 6 million! On iOS? Wait, wait, on iOS is 700k. On Android is 400k. So yeah, overall, plenty of interesting data going on throughout the last month of June. But hey, let me know what you guys think overall of the games that are either climbing or declining in terms of the revenue. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. Again, big shout out to Number Lots BS for posting this on Reddit. And big shout out to Tokyo Treat and Sakurako for sponsoring today's video. Uh, if you guys want to get one box for yourself, I'll have the links leave in the description below. I uh, use my code GuitarRock for $5 off. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.